All right, guys, we're back with another chainsaw video. In the last video, you saw me maintain the chainsaw. In this one, we're gonna sharpen it with this sharpening file system that I ordered from Amazon. You can get the steel brand of this that comes in the branded orange and um, this off-white color for twice as much, or you can get this one, which looks the exact same and is half the price. I'll put a link to both in the description below. The main thing is you have to know um, the angle of your teeth to order the proper one of these. Um, you should be able to look up your chainsaw on whether it's a steel or not, but whatever kind of chainsaw you have. Um, you have to find out, um, I can't think of the word, I'm just going to call it the angle of the teeth. Uh, like this one is 0.325 or something like that. So you have to make sure that you get the right sharpener. Otherwise, it won't sit properly when you put it on here. You see there's a couple of files on here. This is the tooth file, this is the depth gauge file, and there's one to go this way. Then we're gonna flip it around, flip this over, and reverse it and go the other way. And you can see that it's set up. The angle runs when this is on there, it, it's flat with the bar, and then this sits right in the tooth. Now, I'm just gonna use this marker so that we know which tooth we did last, or, or when we get all the way around the, the bar. So I'm gonna take the chain break off. Let's say we're just gonna start right here with this one. It's gonna color it orange so we know when we've gotten all the way around. And I have my gloves, but I'm not gonna wear them. So this guy, like I said, it's got a directional thing and it tells you which way to sit it on the saw. You just line it up with the tooth on this end and then we're gonna, just gonna do four pushes with it. And I've seen a lot of people do this like with, with the chainsaw in a vise but I'm just gonna do it here because when I'm in the woods, I don't, I don't have a vise to put it on and I might need to sharpen it out there, so I'm gonna practice. So we're gonna do, get it lined up. One, two, three. Go to the next one. Get it in there. One, two, and we're back to our orange one it takes some getting used to. I can see how it would be easier if I had it in a vise. I mean, it's still working. I feel like it's making these sharper. And I can see where it's ground off a little, like, and you can see the, you're only supposed to push it one way though. And I think maybe it needs more than just but I can tell how these are now sharper than the ones on the other side. So it's definitely, it's definitely sharpening it. So now I'm going to color this in again, just so I know where we are. And then this time, now you have to flip it over for the other teeth and go this way with it. So this time I'm gonna try a little bit different technique. And then let's go.
so we're back to the orange. Um, I, I can definitely tell this would be easier with it clamped in the vise, so I see why people do that. Um, but it does, like once you get into the groove, you could probably see me, sometimes I would mess up on a tooth and then sometimes it would go really smoothly. It just, you have to find that tempo and it definitely feels sharper than when I started. Like I can go through and touch all of these teeth and this is my first time using this, not very expert with it. So I could tell that with a couple of times of doing this, like see I'm already even doing it better than I did while I was filming for real. I can tell that with some practice, this is gonna be a great tool. See, I'm already even doing it better than I was. Maybe that's because it had never been sharpened previously and it needed one good sharpened to... I'm gonna go through and give all of them one more go. Just to make sure we get some extra practice. Still trying to find like how to hold this thing with my hand, like what the best method is. Putting my fingers on top of it like this. Or just going like that. Okay, we're back around to our orange. Now again, I think you're only supposed to go like three times, but let's just flip this bad boy around. We're gonna practice one more time. See, and then like pushing versus pulling. But, overall, I mean, having never sharpened a chainsaw before and not knowing what angle you're supposed to sharpen the chainsaw at, this tool takes all of the guesswork out of it. Looked like it was really off. Now we've made it through all of it again. So just using it for the first time, like I said, this thing feels razor sharp, takes all the guesswork out of it. I've never sharpened a chainsaw before in my life. And this chainsaw is sharper than the first time I used it, like straight out of the box. Um, we'll go test it here in a little bit and we'll do another chainsaw vlog and cut up some wood. All right, guys, if you've ever used one of these or the still version of this, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Good investment, not. And I'll see you on the ridge. Mm -hmm.